two different bracket here and you don't expand don't ever go and expand the bracket some of you go and expand 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 become x square okay then i am actually minusing your marks do not expand when you do all this kind of working especially this line to this line all right if you notice they put in double bracket it's called double bracket so you put in all the double bracket and you don't ever go and expand always put in a bracket because later on you have to change the sign bracket can really save your life okay so because if you don't put in the bracket your sign basically will be different all right so when we expand everything you need to see because i think this question is quite a big apply then after that everything i always say push to left hand side right hand side is zero done already you go and use your formula you use formula abc this is basically your quadratic formula throw in the value for calculator she has finished already okay i don't understand why some people leave it as three decimal place two decimal place i don't know what it is okay follow the question they want psf leave it so this is the thing if you don't understand what the teacher writing over here mr Kwa, never mind you just look at the answer can ready okay but i think there are people getting correct no problem then i go down i have this is basically your trigonometry your cosine rule okay cosine rule ba, 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 throw in the value cosine they want to see your cosine especially this part cosine second function so cosine second function is important some of you everything wrong huh? but i see that you put in cosine second function i give you one mark okay because it basically means that you roughly know that if you are using i roughly know that you are actually using cosine rule and you need to find an angle means that you use a cosine second function yeah some of you really everything gone all right but you show me some cosine second function of something some value here even though one number also incorrect i will actually give you one mark okay so over here answer leave it as three decimal place i think the question one is three decimal place okay that I hope you are done already, huh? Okay. So uh check the answers. Now, huh? Okay, this one is basically your 2B. All right, 2B answer. They are asking about your bearing, if I'm not wrong. Okay, bearing, if you look at the question, is always I say last time you have to draw your uh northeast southwest. Okay, you also must draw in your northeast southwest. It's always northeast southwest. Then after that, you go by your clockwise direction okay starting from the north they want to find an angle x okay so over here you already found answer one two three from the top part all right i want you to minus away the total is 208 ma. minus away 84.421 then the other one alternate angles bearing is always talking about alternate angles because they actually lies on a flat ground so it's basically lie on the flat ground okay if they lie on the flat ground it basically can you can actually play your success write down the statement okay i wait a while i pause here because i have this angel here asking me to admit her You're done already. Only Clarissa is not here. Okay. Uh, Douglas Chase attendance. Whoever here, I want you to tell Douglas your attendance, your temperature, your attendance, and as well as your family members' well being. Are they stay home notice? Anybody uh, quarantine or whatever? Okay. Only Clarissa not here. The rest should tell him already. Okay. Any one of them find out. Okay. Bearing of A from C. A from C basically means that from C. So that's why if you notice, Mr. Kwa actually draw another blue color line from C. So you look at the C here. Then you go from the north, you touch the line A. So they actually want the whole shaded angle of this guy here. So if they want the whole shaded angle of this guy, there is these zigzag lines already. They were where they find already 84. So what you need to do is that this part is actually your semicircle, 180. So the other part should be your uh, 84 point something something. Okay, so you will add up together. Angle must be one decimal place. No need to see and no need to say. 
Okay, there is no 3SF. You leave as 3SF, some of you leave as 3SF, I minus away your marks. Angle must be one decimal place only. Okay, so actually your paper two, actually not very well done. Okay, I minus a lot of here and there. Then after that, 2CI, this is actually another question whereby they're talking about some angle, angle of elevation. All right, they said that there's this pole D over there. Then after that, they want you to see, find the angle of elevation. Okay, you have to draw again a right angle triangle. It's something like a 3D. You have to imagine a little bit. So if you imagine a little bit, you will actually see your, you see that there's this angle of a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle, the base is 3, 4, 3, 7, 4. A, B, they say so, it's 374 they give you. They said that there is this guy here, whereby the pole there, you have to identify where is your D. Okay, once you identify the D, then after that, you play with your tokaso. A uh, right angle triangle only play with your tokaso. So you will look at this one, it's actually Tua, which is your tangent 13, it's actually opposite over adjacent. Then you put our calculator, 3SF. There is no one decimal place here. All right, this is basically the length, 3SF piece. So number two, CII. Here is basically talking about your area of triangle. This question, they have to compare between two different uh, formula. One is a half times base times height. Another one is basically using your trigonometry triangle uh, formula. So they actually compare, okay? You compare your half base height, half times base times height, the triangle, as well as your half times uh, your triangle formula for trigonometry. Throw in for calculator here and there, bring things over here and there. Then after that, you have your 225. So your AE is actually 225.404. Done already this value. This one, actually, I don't quite like. I always like to use everything from the calculator. All right. But it's the core actually stopped until here, six digit. It's actually very dangerous. Okay. To actually leave your answer as simplified means that six value, six number. It will be best if you can actually dump in the whole value here. All right, 4043607, throw inside. I always play safe. So I will just dump in all six or seven or eight or nine digit dump inside. Then I park up later, I feel very safe. Okay, this one is actually risky. All right, some of you leave your digit. Actually, very seldom of you, you leave six digit. Six or five digits, some people leave it to write. So they only leave six digit. It's actually very risky. If you can take everything from the calculator, park everything, suck in everything, then you will be very, very safe. Okay, then tangent, again, this is a triangle. Then I have opposite, I have adjacent, it's basically your tangent, tangent second function, tada, tada, 21 degree, 21.0 degree. Some of you leave it as 21, 21 is incorrect. It must be 21.0, one decimal place. Okay, leave it as one decimal place. Done, ah. Huh? If done, I will just go down to the next one. You managed to write, I'll make it smaller. I stop maybe just one minute, okay, for you to write something. Okay, number 3A. 3A is the amount that Claire has about the question. Uh, you have to, okay, let me see. Okay, simple thing, all right, formulate, cross, cross, multiply. And after that, amount Clara has, 180. But there are people didn't do it this way now, all right? If you didn't do it this way, it's actually fine, okay? I, I think you actually do a little bit of calculation somewhere else, okay? It's actually okay now. All right, you do the calculation somewhere else, then you get 180, I will still give you two marks. Okay, number 3B. 3B is that I have two alternative solutions. This one is that the teacher actually, Mr. Kwa actually thought that some people will actually do some guess and check. 
Guess and check, it basically means that you have to guess at least two guesses before you give the answer. So which means that for those who are using guess and check, you cannot just any hantam. Hantam and then after that, uh, you get your 17. All right, you cannot any hantam and get your 17. So this one is actually, uh, you actually use some other, some of you using other method. All right, you didn't use your left that statement, it, to me it's fine. All right, then you're actually putting some different value, da, da, da. I don't, frankly speaking, your 4F, okay, because I saw your scripts, okay? Very seldom people formulate in terms of algebra like that, okay? Uh, some of you go by guessing, okay? But guessing also must have working, okay? You guess correctly working, I, I will give you the 17, okay? And actually many people actually solve in this way, all right, whereby you solve by your, what do you call that, proportion method, okay? Something represents something, 100% represents something, something represents something minus finish becomes 17. It's actually okay. You don't really need to uh, formulate until algebra like that. So if you want to go by this way, it's fine. Anyway, let's you have many working. Okay. A lot of you go by proportion, representing, representing, uh, I think it's fine. Okay. It doesn't matter. Then number three CI, billion is actually 10 to the power of nine. Nine zero here. Million is 10 to the power of six. The rest just give calculator, settle the work, become 1.254 times 10 to the power of nine. Okay, finish your reading. Uh, if I'm going fast, you can actually stop me if you cannot manage to copy. Again, I say, if you cannot copy, never mind. Take your handphone, you take picture. Okay, then later you refer. Percentage increase, minus away, increase by 36.7. This one, these two question number three C is generally okay, fine. Okay, but it's just some calculation here, error here and there. Then number three C, I, I, or a, a lot of things there. Okay. Um, 3CII is actually your, what do you call that? Uh, you have to count the population. Okay, some of you explained very well. All right, you have to find, I want to see 145. The teacher mentioned that if so long I see 145, 833 for uh, China, 8523 for Russia, okay, then you calculate math. So I want to see 145, 833, 8523, calculated already, then answer is China, Russia. I will give you the mark. Okay, population density, you can actually go and compare your Singapore also. Singapore is actually 8076.923. But the thing is that I still want to see which one is the, the density for those questions. I say it's basically Russia. Okay, huh? right? You count Singapore, you don't count also, it doesn't matter. Okay, but some of you count everything, please say fine. Answer Russia. Okay, I'll stop maybe for a few seconds. Okay, I go down. Four uh. A, four A is basically your graph. Okay, answer three point five. Four B, okay. I have all together eight points, right? Cro corrected crosses with cross. Uh, your class is a lot of people, or generally everybody. The point, uh, when you need to plot, uh, you actually cross it out. We always cross out. But there are actually a lot of students from other classes, like, okay, not your class. Other classes, they actually use full stop. So that's why Mr. Kwa actually put down here like that. If you didn't put a cross, same thing for all level, like, all right? If you didn't put a cross, you actually going to put a full stop. Uh, go and put on a big fat dot, all right, for all the different kind of, for all the points, we will minus by one mark. Same thing for all level, okay? If you go and put a full stop, because we can't see, this full stop is so skinny. And after that, you go and put in a big fat full stop, it's basically incorrect. They say plot a point, plot a point normally is that, not normally, it's always you have to put a cross, okay? But your class, everybody put a cross, okay? So that's why all generally get all the marks, okay? This is basically for other classes. Some of them, they're lazy to write. Some of them, they just maybe want to challenge, they don't know what challenge what. So they go and put some big fat one or big small one, okay, a full stop. Okay? Then after that, smooth curve, true, all plotted point, 
So like that, it's a smooth curve. Okay, I want to see smooth curve, right? I will show you the graph later. Smooth curve. So I where is my graph? Where is the graph? Ah, uh, this is the graph. Okay, make it smaller a bit. Now this is basically the graph. Okay, if you look at the Mr. Pa actually draw all the cross, 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 all eight crosses, then you take a flexible ruler or whatever you draw a curve. I remember John John one, all right, John John put in all the crosses, so he actually get two points. Put down that P2. Okay, uh, I put down that P2, so because all the points are basically correct. But the thing is that he didn't put in the, he, he when he draw, John, you can actually see your graph. I think over here one corner is actually not very smooth. Okay, you all you a little bit of dirt. So if not smooth, then the curve zero marks. Okay, I remember John one. So it's very hard to draw a graph. Le. Use your flexible ruler. Okay, because when it comes to so ah, John. Okay, when it comes to O level, you need to make it curve. All right, points correct. One thing, curve also must be smooth. Why they want it to be smooth is because if you're not smooth. Later, you want to find some point, the point will be, answer will be too big, big value. You know that when you actually do whatever value, we only take in plus minus 0 0.1. All right, if your line basically not smooth, you become plus minus 0 0.4 or 5 or 6 or 7 already. Then you answer too far away from our marking scheme. Then wrong, I John. Okay, you need to be very as close smooth as possible because answer later we take is only plus minus 0 0.1. Okay, that is the cruel thing. Then they want to see a line. But before they see a line, I don't know what question they're really. That is here, that is here. Ah, okay. This one, A and B over to B, I think they have some range over there. I actually accept all this kind of value. Four point something, da da da, one point something, da da da. Okay, you give me this value, it's actually correct. Other value, some very funny one, 1.4, 1.455, 1 I don't know what thing. More they are gone already, gone already. Okay, so that's why your graph must be smooth and must be as nice as possible. Pretty, make it pretty, like, just make it as pretty as possible. Okay, so that your number is just plus minus 0 0.1. So our original answer is 1 point. Actually, your class, there are people really get 1.14. Okay, but I don't know how you read the two decimal places. 1.14, 1.2 like that. All right, and then 4.3, about tun tun there, okay? But the thing is that we give a little bit of plus minus 0 0.1, okay? A little bit value here and there. All right, done really, yeah, number four C. Number four donkey, four donkey is that you need to find your X, all right? You can read the question. They want the value, all this value you have, okay? Actual answer is only 1.6, all right? But they actually give you a little bit more, 1.45, blah, blah, blah. Frankly speaking, for your O level, it's only not too far away. All right, plus minus 0 0.1. Okay, or maybe two big number, two very hard to see, maybe plus minus 0 0.2, that's it. So, John, I don't think you like it or not, you have to make it smooth, finish, goes off. Okay, for EI, you have to draw a straight line, where it cuts through your X axis and it cuts through your Y axis. So, if I look at my graph again, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. When I look at my graph, I want you to show me red color line. So the red color line must pass through three and also a two, okay? Uh, I forgot who already in your class, okay? I saw your graph is actually go up a little bit or go down a little bit. So long, you didn't make it two, two, two and three, you don't get the one mark. You have to make it tun tun, straight down, only cut from two to three, that's it. Uh, your class so far graph is fine, okay? But it's just that maybe, you didn't make it until three. Some of you, the line go up a little bit. I don't care what you, how you like it or not, you have to open our eyes very big and please sharpen your pencil. Some of you pencil not sharp, very, very thick. Okay, so I can't see your line. Then you end up your line actually go up, go down somewhere else. Okay, this is basically your red color line and you have to label. I remember also at John, okay, because at John's paper is the first paper I mark. Okay, over here is whereby he didn't label. You have to label your line. This graph got three lines. Three different lines, you have to give them back the names. This graph got names. You have to label the names. So that's why in your front page, I actually PP you, okay? About never label. Say many times already, must label the line, okay? In your own...
the five lines you learn. Five reader don't know what to think. Please label, okay? Huh? Next one, now I go up again. I think the next one is talking about gradient. Gradient this time round, uh, they didn't ask you to calculate or what. They want you to go and just straight away draw. Find the value, all right? If the gradient of something is it number EII, okay? I don't have a question paper with me. Uh, I have to open somewhere, okay? If you look at the question, it's actually this value here. Calculated value is 0 0.6, but I think the teacher also can give you more. All right, 4.7, he actually gave you more. That's why I say it only, was only plus minus 0 0.1. So you have to make it smooth no matter what. Okay, then after that, number E, I, I, I. E, I, I is whereby they said that this line and this curve, okay, 2x plus 3. Let me see where the graph is. Go down again, go down again. 2x plus 3. So the red color line and the black color curve, okay, they actually uh, meet. So intersection basically means that the two equations, they meet. So you have to equate two equations. So uh, a lot of you go and sub in 0 0.6, okay? I don't know where you get your 0 0.6. Maybe you find value here, you sub in. You cannot sub in like that. They want you to equate means that you make these two from two to one, make them a very happy family, okay? So you combine the two become one big family. So we, how do you become one with family is whereby you have to equate the equation. Yeah. Ah. They said that the teacher said, we so said equate the curve. That is how you do. A lot of you sub in 0 0.6, then you get somewhere, something else. Equate the two equations. So long they intersect means that they must be the same. Then only the intersect. They equate, you do a little bit of, um, uh, what do you call it, algebra, blah, blah, blah. Okay, get rid of the denominator. You should get only five. Okay, then you get your marks already. Okay, not sub in 0 0.6. Uh, okay, you have to equal weights. Okay, ah, uh, uh, Nancy. Ah, uh, and 27, then they mark me correct. Negative 5 uh, and 27. Uh. Okay, long. Then I will, I'm my minus mark from you, long. Know, Thank you very much for your honesty. Who else? Uh, Shasmeka, Shasmeka, you are here, right? Shasmeka, Shasmeka, I will talk to you later. Okay, I think you message me something. Uh, so Angisha, okay. I will actually manage back your marks. Okay, Angisha, I manage back. Angisha, I manage back your marks. Okay, I will remember. Next one, number five A is basically your number pattern. Number pattern n plus nine. Some of you put nine plus n. Ah, okay lah, okay lah, fine lah. Ah, okay. But in your exam, please follow the format. N plus uh, nine. Algebra always comes first. The constant always at the back, right? Then um, I have this expression. Okay, you go and add in. You actually get one mark here, frankly speaking. All right. Then it must be a whole number. All right. If it's actually not a whole number, then they they cannot already. Then uh, what is this? Alternative solution, there are people actually do this way. So it means that I actually have two different kinds of working. Okay, the top part and the bottom part. So you can give me 4n plus 24, or you can give me 20775. You know that this number is actually not a whole number. Some people say not integer. Okay, the sum cannot be 855. This question I think you can answer. Okay, it's actually one of the questions in your tennis series, I'm just speaking. Okay, done already. Number 5b. Okay, this one is actually 2n plus 3, it's just one mark or two mark kind of thing. Then after that, I want to see your differences between two square. Okay, differences between two square. Open up, open the bracket. Okay, extend a little bit here and there. Then after that, you minus away, become 8n plus 1. Very seldom people do it this method. I noticed that your class seldom do this method because um, they are not comfortable. Very seldom people apply this one. Many of times, these rules are basically forgotten. Okay, a lot of people ent ended up doing this method instead. This method is whereby it's a space, a square, you open up, then you minus away the other bracket, change the sign, blah, 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 you also get the same thing. Okay, a lot of people doing this method. All right, very seldom the first one. First one is already forgotten long time ago. Okay, then after that, it's always a multiple of x. Okay, done already. Okay, you go and do your algebra. Then after that, you open up the bracket, you should have 8n plus h. So no matter what, it's always a multiple of x. Okay, huh? done ready. Huh? Number six, 
minus one mark over all for any missing or incorrect reason. Okay, that's what Mr. Kwa said. If anything incorrect or you never write the statement, zero. Okay, so so far I see here you actually have your working, your class generally, you have a statement, but it's just that statement a little bit uh, wrong. Wrong also cannot have answer. Okay, so you have 49. You must write down the proper one. Okay, don't go and create your own statement. Right, finish already. Alternatively, you can also get 49, but this is a longer method. They play with your angle and center, two times angle and circumference. Okay, question about circles, definitely you have. Circle is a very big uh, question. That's why you learn, I think last year or this year, last year, all right, towards the end. Okay, this are basically big, big chapter. Confirm you will have circles. Okay, it's actually quite easy to score. All right, 49. You can go and play with it, see what is it. Okay, you got no time to copy, I say again, huh? take your phone, phone chit chat, all right, and then you keep and then you refer later. Okay, done already, huh? Then number six, I, I, again, under is 41. We saw Kwa play with angles in the same segment. Okay, I think he talked about some butterfly thing. All right, same segment. Then after that, angle at center, circumference, twice, angle circumference, times two. Center is always two times, uh, frankly speaking. Okay, then you minus away, you get 41. Some of you, of course, didn't follow this method. You actually use other method. So long, okay, marks will be given. Okay, 41. Alternatively, longer method. You have many ways of doing, uh, frankly speaking, people. Okay, not everybody do the same. 41, in mid sense, okay, you get the marks already. Huh? Okay, number 6B. 6B is that a lot of you didn't write your answer in terms of the pi. Question already say in terms of the pi. In terms of the radian, in terms of the pi, okay. So that's why uh, I see luckily some of many of you put in one point seven. This part you get one mark, even though you don't get full, but at least you get one mark. You manage to count seven by seven by seven uh, theta, so one point seven. Then pi minus one point seven radian, one point four four radian. If there is no RAD, there is no unit here. It's actually cosine. Radian and non radian is different. One point four four and one point four four radian, two different values. Okay, it's just something like 3 and 3 cm is different. 3 can represent 3 apple, but 3 cm talking about length. Like that, 1.44 radian means a measurement in terms of radian. If you didn't put in the unit, it's just 1.44. I don't know what you're talking about, 1.44. 1.44 talking about accordingly. In your first page, cover page, there is this PP. Okay, never put in the unit PP. Okay, but so far in your class, generally everybody put in the unit on except some of it. Okay, uh, then I have a total shaded area. Total shaded area is that well, I see your RYZS, you go and see your, your RYZS, correct, I give you one mark. Or you XOY, PWXO, uh, I get you, give you one mark. Okay, then of course there are people getting all correct, 307 you get. But I think don't join again another one. I think you didn't round the value, is it? So you leave me as 306.74, then bowl level. Okay, you must remember to round it up to three asset. Okay, this one, I think you cannot manage to copy, take a handphone, take a photo. Okay, then after that, your, what do you call that? This is your, what is this? Our vectors. Okay, vectors, this one is, uh, I think before I went for two, two weeks of MC. Okay, here is that went through the line. All right, BC basically means BA plus AC. Means that the line inside, the letter inside is the same. All right, then you have your BC. So that's why these two vectors add up together. Okay, so you have minus six and minus one. Some of you go and change the value. They are wrong. Uh, so long, it is actually one more count question. Minus six, minus one. So I mean, you do quite a lot, all right, about this so that you know that the letter is the same. Then you have your BC. I finish minus six, minus one. The other one is basically half. Okay, half of your BC. Half of your BC means just, just half, lo, okay? Half. Okay, one mark. Then after that, 7bi, again, it's the same thing. Now they put in the letter. If you notice the marking scheme, they didn't put in the curve because it's actually very hard. It's impossible to use the software to write the curve. So you have to write a curve. I forgot some of you, you actually didn't follow the curve. All right, the, the vector curve below the B must have the, the curve. Okay, below the B must have the curve, right? Yeah, you didn't write the curve, it's actually incorrect. A curve and a B with a curve and a B with a no curve is different. All right. This is a question about water. You have to write below the B must have the curve. 
okay, you must have to tail the curve. So I go down, B minus A or A minus negative A plus B is the same thing. Then 2B, then go down, I have A. Okay, add your answer, check your answers. Then your A. Okay, you have three. Uh, there are some of you take out the three. It's fine, you don't take out, so it doesn't matter. All right, leave you alone. All right, or you can write the other way, 3A minus 3B is the same. But so long vectors below every single letter, a small letter, must have the tail, must have the curve. Please remember. Uh, there are people didn't put in a curve, so the whole question is wrong. Okay, even though the answer is correct, whole question is gone because the format is different. Done now, ah. Okay, 7BII, scalar multiple, just times 3. Then it's a multiple, yes, minus 3. A, B, all the same one. It's just that negative 3 only one. Okay, so C, D is parallel. I don't care what is the front value. They can be minus half, minus 3, minus 100, minus 3,000. Or they can be a positive 3,400, 800. I don't care if it's a positive or a negative. So long the content, the letter, small letter behind is the same. It's parallel already. 8A is a question whereby very hard to mark, okay, because you're actually basically writing a lot of numbers everywhere, okay. So I'll basically when you see your 8A, your 8A, uh, you give me some value about your prism, and you give me this part 285, okay. Alternatively, some people give me 285, I give you mark one mark already, okay. Then I see something like 480, I give you another one mark, okay. Or maybe you have your 11, 12, 19. All right, trapezium value, I also give you one mark, okay? So because it's a question whereby some of you might miss out one side. If you miss out one side, the whole thing actually don't need to see, okay? But it's okay that we actually separate six section, section. Then some of you, somehow, you still get some marks somewhere, okay? Next one, take a picture, just jot, huh? okay? I don't think you've got time to write, 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 all this stuff, thing. If you get it correct, I will now, of course, there are people getting correct. Six, seven, six, five, no problem. And put in the value MQ. This one is using Pythagoras theorem. You have to use Pythagoras theorem for this one. Okay. Uh, you have to identify what is the side. Use a Pythagoras theorem. And then something exists, something doesn't exist. Okay. And then again, square root must have plus minus. So this marking scheme from this topa is actually not a not very complete because square root must always have plus minus. Okay, then after that, something exists, something doesn't exist. You write the plus minus, something exists, something doesn't exist, it's very safe. If you didn't put in a plus minus, you didn't reject nicely, it's actually very risky. So you don't take the shortcut way. Please write everything in full so that you don't lose anything. Okay. Next one, total area, uh, the roof, 18. There are people getting correct. Okay, but some actually calculation error somewhere. Okay. Done, huh? It be then number nine. Cannot eight C. Eight C again is a depression. They will still link up to something. Uh, Pythagoras theorem sixteen point five five three again. Something exists, something doesn't exist, like huh? Square root always come in one set, plus minus, frankly speaking. All right. So I have tangent second function, angle depression. Angle depression means you look up from there. Angle depression where is the angle? Elevation. Everybody know elevation is PCW. But depression means your exact PC. Depression is your exact PC. But the thing is that you still zigzag line. Your zigzag line means that PC is also equivalent to PCW. All right. And then after that, uh, now no, finish 22.923. But they want one decimal place because it's angle. Okay. Now, now, uh, median mark down there, 77. There is no mean here. Your, your paper, a lot of you, you write down your mean. There is no mean here. It's actually a simple box and whisker. There is no mean at all. Okay, it should be a median value. Median 77. IQR means the inter quartile range. 82, 68, 14. All right, you can't give me something else. This is just 14 means 14. Percentage is 30. 30 means 30, that's it. All right, so I see 77, 14, 30, 30 degree, 30% 30 correct. Okay, this one I must explain properly. Some of you explain very correctly, but once you put in the mean, a lot of people put in M E B N. There is no mean here. All right, it's actually a median. So perform better because the median is higher. So max perform better. Then this one, you have to write down the magic word interquartile range for what? For physics, okay, smaller. So which means that it's more consistent. 
So those keywords, I want to see what and what. Don't know which one is more consistent because the range is actually smaller or bigger. Okay, so they must basically the magic word, like this median mark, magic word. Okay, I want to see the magic word. So long you show me the magic word, you are fine. All right, then who performed better? Okay, didn't put in right down clearly. Uh, I'm gone right now because that one is higher or lower than that one. These are basically those magic words. I see this magic word. Okay, correct. 9B, uh, put in the value. Originally, it's 16. All right, then they say without replacement means without 15. So that's why every single number for yellow, yellow minus by one. So 2 over 15. Green, green minus by one become five. Red, red minus by one become six. Okay, this is basically your tree diagram. You have to put in the fraction. Okay, huh? cannot copy the hand for the picture. Okay, three, four, five seconds. Okay, time's up, five seconds. Right, second question. They want a red ball. The magic is given. I think the other time I mentioned there are a few questions asking. The moment one is given, which means that given yellow ball, they want a red one. So answer is actually 7 over 15. Given a yellow and a red one, second ball is red. So it's 7 over 15. You don't need to go and multiply because this type of question is different. Comma, given. Okay, no need to multiply. So given, just read from here, 7 over 15, that's all. Second question, you have to multiply. Two balls, different color. Yellow, not yellow. Green, not green. Red, not red. But there are some of you going to list down. Blue, blue, green, green. Uh, different, different, different. All right? So six different brackets. Also, you get 27 over 40. Next one, I want at least one, two ball is green. So yellow, green, green, and then green, green. One over eight. Some of you calculated the other value, white green, green, white green, red green, three over eight is also correct. All right, it's actually also correct. Then otherwise you can just give me one green, six over 16 is also correct. Okay, finish already. No time copy, take picture. Number 10 is very, I spent a long time looking at what you are writing. Number 10, okay, number 10 AI, no problem, $17.90. MTUC online, no problem, correct. Generally, everybody correct. 10 AI, $17.90, well done. But number 10 AII, okay, well done. I think everybody take out handphone, take picture better, lah, huh? okay, easy of copy. Hand sanitizer, $27, okay, then 70. I want to see this thing, 27, lah, 70, lah, 24, lah, 4.5, 17.9, 14, 3, 40, okay? So this is the thing. Uh, marking scheme is whereby one or two value there is correct. I actually give you the correct marks. All right, I give you some marks. So everybody actually gets some marks in the end. Okay, uh, take picture already. Uh, take picture already. Uh. Okay, scroll down. I want to see assumption. Okay, you need to assume. Assume means what? He actually go happy jam before checkout. He make payment something credit card. Then total cost before GST. Then after that, include back GST. Answer 143.53. Okay? So you need to say assumption. So a lot of you, I write down the word assumption in red because you never give me the assumption. Mr. Kwa wants to see the word using promo code or using credit card. He wants to see this word. You. He wants to see this magic word. I ask him, I say, what if the student only write credit card, can or not? He said cannot. He wants to see this magic word called using. All right? So you, you don't have the word using open. I can't give you the assumption mark. Okay, I take picture already. Uh. I go down number 10B, now 10C. 10C, again, a lot of working for oh, 10B. Mr. So purchased from Blue Mart. Okay, take picture, I think better, uh, all of you. So hand sanitizer, blah, 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 go down, until masking tape, finish already. I know you are late for your amens. I will go and tell Madam Halisa. Take picture already, ah. Uh.
Okay, take picture and scroll down. Huh? Total cost, again, I want to see assumption. You need to write out assumption. He wants to make payment or he wants to miss a pound to see the word using. Using is a magic word. Using Citibank credit card. Then don't know what, minus eight plus five, Mr. So, colleague is correct. Something like that. Okay, no assumption, cannot. Take picture already, five seconds. Okay, time's up. Scroll down, ah. Huh? Number 10C, again, very long working. Do I have any more things? Then be only. Okay, no more already. You want to take picture of this graph? You can. Yeah. Okay, this will be the question from graph. I stop a while. You want to take picture of this graph? You can touch up. Okay, the chart already are huh? done already. So this is basically your paper number two. Later on, you have maths at 11 o'clock. And I am not teaching anything. I plan to, if it's not circuit so breaker, I want to teach, start, continue with your practice. But I happen to be, I can't see you. All right. Um, so I will wait for further instruction. All right. I think after one month later, hope nothing, nothing wrong. Okay. And we go back to school, then we continue practice. But I think I might want to teach the whole chapter about practice. Okay. And do a lot of uh, 10 year series questions. So this one, go back. Now during holiday, please study back all your work. You know, this is the feel of your paper number two, paper number one. So all your things, really, please do. Okay, you can actually do your own time target because when you come back, I will actually give you other school paper instead. Okay, so your things, series you can actually do on your own already. Okay, your things, series you can do as your holiday homework for now. Okay, then you can refer to answer for, on your own for now. Okay, because when you come back, I might not want to do your tennis series because tennis series already got answer what, two for what. Okay, so I might give you other school paper instead. Okay, so other school paper instead of tennis series. So you can do your tennis series during this one month holiday. Okay, and then you can check the answer. All right, then after that, finish already. So this is your paper number two. Paper number one, I think no problem. You can check the answer yourself. So later 11 o'clock will be your free time. Okay, you can do your tenure series as your homework. You can, if you have any other reference book, you can actually do. You can have a brother, sisters pass to you whatever notes you can read. Okay, or your, your, your uncle, auntie give you anything for maths, you can just do. Okay, no matter what question is always here and there. Okay, I'm done ready. Yeah? Done ready, you can go for your Amex. I already messaged your Madam Halisa. Okay, your Madam Halisa, you'll be late. Okay, so you can go and have a drink. Okay, drink up. Then after that, attend your Amex.